the first time we really seen Jukebox, I mean, yeah, we of course we know she's going in three. The first time we seen Jukebox, she popped the clerk, the dude at the store. Well, she didn't do it. She told that. What was the dude name? Is the dude name uh Wolski, Wookie or something like that? The clerk. Order Ray Ray. Set up Tariq. Man, Jukebox did a lot of shit, though. The clerk in the robbery. Or the Ray Ray around. And we know what Ray Ray did. She was setting up Tariq. She was going against Kanan. What up, Queen? <laughs> Nadia's here, Raising. Now, Raising Kane is pretty cool, man. I don't know how they're going to do this this next season, but I like Raising Kane. What else did you do? Oh, they were going to, uh, they were going to uh, rob the jewelry store. Hey, when she went to the jewelry, uh, when she, remember the jewelry store, they went to go rob the jewelry store, and then when she went back to work, when she did, she was like, Oh, it was some white males. Oh, yeah, Juke was a dirty mother effer. I don't know, Juke might actually be up there, jewelry store, white suspects. Kidnapped Tariq. Golly, Jukebox did a lot of shit. Well, yeah, that's why I got set up Tariq, you know, the kidnapping. We'll put that on there just to. Damn, Jukebox was a bad motherfucker. Didn't what up, Jacoby? Didn't Jukebox tell Kanan to kill Tariq? Because they did the kidnapping. That's when they sent the picture for the ransom. But didn't she tell Kanan? Yeah, because Kanan was supposed to take Tariq out, but he didn't because he looked at Tariq as more of a golly, Jukebox. If we remove, if we remove what Detective Howard did. And we just look at everything he did from when Raising Canaan started. Like, if we remove the sleeping with Rock, even though that's a major part, this motherfucker jukebox, this motherfucker is crazy. She sent up Tariq. Golly, wait a minute. We jukebox might actually be number one.
A. Jukebox. Hey, Jukebox bike. Um, she she might be number one. Cause this list ain't over with yet. The Jukebox might actually be fucking number one. Cause all we're talking about is Don Carter taking thirty five percent. Jukebox was on the clock robbing niggas, setting niggas up to be killed. Kidnapping niggas. Tried to kill her own cousin. This motherfucker. Juke might move up to number one. Because there's more. I'm sure there's more. What else did Juke do? We got the jewelry store. We got the kidnapping. They're waiting on the ransom money because of Dre. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're talking about 35% for Don Carter. Remember, Dre, Dre told Kanan he could get 10K a week. Jukebox and Ray Ray said, no, make it 50. Jukebox and Ray Ray were getting $15,000 a week. Remember? Oh, my goodness. Well, they didn't get the 15000 but remember Jukebox and Ray Ray said, no, nah, fuck that, Dre. That 10% that you were talking about to Canaan, make it 15%. Well, not 15%, but 15 k a week. Golly. Because James got locked up, and that's when Dre came around. Because Dre was the one that was going to go get the ransom money. And he told Kanan that we can get 10 k a week. Jukebox heard, well, Ray Ray didn't jump in. He was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jukebox said, no, nah, fuck all that. Make it 15000 a week. Hey, man. I... Jeez Louise, Juke. What the fuck else did Juke do? They did the money. So before she ended up getting popped by Kanan, what else does she have going on? Yeah, Jacory, because remember Kanan's Kanan's pain medicine he was running out of. So they were they were getting the perkies. The perkies and the codeine. Because that's what him and Tariq was. Golly. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta move jukebox up. I'm sorry, man. I gotta put jukebox a little bit higher. I'm 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 gonna go ahead and make an executive decision for us, man. All 
I'm gonna go ahead and make that executive decision for us, man. Jukebox is probably the dirtiest cop that we've ran into. 